it here. And only this file can be auditioned. <laughs> Click open. Your import options dialog window will open. Copying your file to your working directory is usually a good idea. It makes your project self-contained and as a result your navigation will be a lot easier. Under convert to project you've got the following options. Sample rate. If the sample rate of your imported file is different from your project sample rate, you can convert it by checking this checkbox. If you decide not to do this, however, your file will play back at the wrong speed. Sample size option. This is available if the project bit depth resolution is different than the exported file. If you import more than one file at the same time, instead of two options, sample rate and sample size, you will get a checkbox, convert and copy to project if needed. When checked, Cubase will convert the sample rate and bit depth if they don't match the corresponding parameters of the project. Split multi-channel files. This option allows you to split, for example, a stereo file into two mono files. When this option is used, newly created files, as a result of this split, will be imported to the audio folder of the project. If you click the Do Not Ask Again checkbox, the files will be imported with the settings you made automatically. However, this can be reset later under File, Preferences, Audio. From this drop down menu, you can select two options. Open Options dialog, we just explored, and the second choice in this drop down menu is Use Settings. Here you can choose any of the same three options Copy Files to Working Directory, Convert and Copy to Project if needed, Split Multi Channel Files, and as a result, the next time you import files to the pool, the options you selected here will be applied automatically. But if you made mistakes during the import process, or if you need to convert files in the pool, select one or more files, go pool, convert files, The Convert Options dialog window will pop up. Here you can change the sample rate, the bit depth, the file format, the number of channels, the options here are a little more complicated. Here you've got three choices. New files. This creates new files in the audio folder with the chosen parameters, but all references still point to your original file. Replace files. This converts your original audio files and replaces them. New plus replace in pool. This keeps your original files intact creates new files with the chosen parameters in your audio folder and redirects all references to this newly created file. This is a useful option if, for example, you use original files in another program or project. 
you can import tracks from an audio CD as well. Select Pool, Import Audio CD. The Import from Audio CD window pops up. From this drop down menu, choose the appropriate CD or DVD ROM drive. You can import tracks from more than one CD at the same time, under the assumption that you do have more than one drive. The speed of the import depends on the speed of your drive. Here you can rename each individual track, double-click, type the name, and here you can rename all tracks at the same time. Type My Album, press Enter. You can import an entire track or just a segment of the track using these sliders. You can set your start and end time of the segment. The start and end time here are represented as well. Audition your selection by pressing the play button. The two small arrows let you audition and last few seconds of the selection. Here you can change the destination folder. After you finalize the selections, it's time to extract and convert them to audio tracks. Click on the Grab button. The newly created files are listed under the Grabbed Files column. You can eject the CD at this point and click OK. The Export Pool function creates a file with the extension .npl. This file contains only a reference to the audio and video files in the pool. This is an option available only in Cubase SX. Remove missing files does exactly what you think it does. Re the reconstruct function works like this. Let's say you applied a freeze function to your piano track. The corresponding audio file has been created by Cubase in the freeze folder of your project. Let's say you applied one of the audio processing functions, such as such as stereo flip, And let's say you apply this to your vocal track. In this case, the new file will be created in the Edit folder. Now, let's say you've accidentally deleted this file. The next time you open this project, Q 
Cubase will prompt you with the Resolve Missing Files dialog window. Click Close. Here you can see that both the bass and vocal tracks are empty. Open your pool. In the status column of your clips, you see the word reconstructable. Highlight both of these clips. Click Reconstruct. Cubase will apply the freeze and stereo flip functions accordingly and as a result reconstruct your files. Conform Files This function will change the parameters of all selected files to match your project parameters. For example, I imported into our project two files with 48 and 96 kilohertz samples rates and also one file in 16-bit format. But the project was set up with a 44.1 kilohertz sample rate and let's say a 24-bit record format. Select Files, Pool, Conform Files. A dialog window will pop up, giving you two choices. If you choose Keep, the original files will stay intact and the new files will be created in the audio folder of the project. All references will then point to these new files. Replace, on the other hand, will replace the files inside the audio folder of your project. Click Replace. Cubase will warn you again. Click Proceed. Minimize the file. Basically, this will permanently erase any unused portion of the audio file. For example, we are going to use only two seconds of this event. Highlight. Audio. Select Find Selected in Pool. Right click. Select Minimize File. And this process will erase your entire edit history and replace the file with the new file. As you can see, the original file is about 25 seconds long. Click Minimize, and the newly created file is only about 2 seconds long. Click Save Now, and we're done. Prepare Archive. Basically, this will check to see if you need to copy any audio and video files to the project folder. You can insert a file into your project window with a drag and drop.
The numeric value above your cursor indicates the insertion point. The same applies to the regions as well. Regions can also be exported as separate audio files. Highlight the region. Select Audio. Bounce Selection. Choose your directory. And click OK. By the way, the region is your section inside a clip. We're going to be covering more on regions later in this course. Okay, we've covered a lot of material in this segment, so I suggest that you go back and review it again as you need it. And this concludes our segment on the pool.